There are a good number of people who love spending time in the woods and on the trails that have very specialized diets or just want to eat as healthy as they possibly can who have trouble finding prepackaged lightweight meals. Well, I'm aware of at least one company that makes meals like that, Wild Zora. If you're interested in finding out more about Wild Zora and what they have for offerings, keep watching. So some time ago, I was contacted by the company Wild Zora to see if I'd be interested in receiving some of their products for testing. And like I do with all products that are offered to me before I accept, I do some background research to see if primarily it's something that I might be interested in testing out, and two, if it's something you might be interested in hearing about. So when I went to the Wild Zora website, I saw that they had a good range of products that looked very interesting to say the least. I also watched a number of video reviews to see what other people were saying about it. And it was at that point that I accepted from Wild Zora and they sent me out the products. Now before they sent me the products, I had a phone conversation, quite a long phone conversation with Zora, the owner of the company. And Zora gave me a good background on why the company was started, why these products specifically, and how she, well, the ethics of the company, if you will. Now, I just want to be clear before we start talking about the products themselves, that these are quite specialized. They're not for everybody. The price of these products you'll see is quite a bit more than a lot of the other products that are on the market. However, having said that, these are a very specialized product that are intended for people who will pay the extra money to have the healthiest possible food out there. As well, these products are geared towards people that have specialized diets, such as either the paleo diet or the autoimmune protocol. Now, I'm not going to spend time going into either of those because there is more than enough information on the internet and if you're already aware of those, then you don't need any explanation from me anyway. Having said that, it doesn't matter if you're on one of those specialized diets or not. If you're looking for the very best food possible, the healthiest food possible, this may be what you're looking for. Okay, so what I'll do is just go through some of the offerings that Zora sent me and I'm not going to review all of them today. What I wanted to do is review one meal and then the rest of them I'm going to take out on trips subsequent to this as the spring unfolds into summer here and try them out and report back to you on each of those products. But I will give you the, the selection or at least an example of the selection now. So the one thing I am going to try out with you today is one of their meals. And this is one of their paleo meals. This one is called the Summit Savory Chicken. And uh, what's really interesting about this is what's not in it. You know, I, I've tried quite a few freeze-dried meals and most of them have additives at the bottom of the list. It's all that fine print at the bottom of the list. Uh, not here. It's what's missing that really makes these things unique. So let's just talk the, the big picture items here. This is a no gluten no grains, no nuts, no milk, and no added sugars, and no nightshades. So that's important for people who are on paleo and the autoimmune protocol. It's also made with free-range chicken, so grain for, or grass-fed chicken, or I guess it is, or at least free-range chicken. Now, I'll read the ingredients, all of them, because uh, I, it, well, there's not that many, and that's what's important. So to start with, it's free-range chicken, organic spinach, broccoli, sweet potato, onion, organic carrot, mushroom, organic lemon, green onion, organic parsley, organic cilantro, turmeric, organic garlic, and sea salt. That's it. There's nothing else in there. In fact, there are so few things in this that in the instructions, let me read the instructions for you or to you, and we're going to, as I said, we're going to cook this up in a few minutes. The instructions for this specific uh, Lunch is open bag at tear notch, remove small white oxygen absorber packet, reseal the bag, invert and shake to distribute the spices which may have settled, makes sense. Pour one and a half cups, preferably hot water, directly into the bag, and I think preferably because you could cold soak in the bag, and that would take longer of course, but you could cold soak this. Stir, reseal, let stand five to fifteen minutes depending on altitude, mix well, add salt, pepper, and ghee, which is clarified butter, to taste and enjoy. Um, I've never seen instructions like that on the back of a meal before, so I find that kind of interesting. Okay, let me just give you examples of some of the other things they have to offer, and then we'll cook this one up. So one of the other things that Zora and I talked about was uh, she has these instant cup of soup type of meals. And well, to start with, Zora's philosophy is 
she bought the company that produces a lot of these meals and then expanded the line out of a personal interest for her family. So Zora has always been into, and her whole family, into high-grade healthy foods. And what they found hiking on trails is that the energy bars that a lot of us carry with, with us, including myself, have a lot of sugar and fastly consuming carbohydrates in them. So what happens is, yes, they do boost your energy, but only for a short period of time. And then, because your insulin levels will boost to meet the sugar levels, and then after a while, your energy level goes down and you're hungry again, go figure. So Zora said there must be something that's better out there than that. So she did some research and she ended up making some products at home in her kitchen, which she shared with friends, which turned out to be popular enough that there was an opportunity to create a market for them and hence the company started. This one specifically, the cup of soup, was came out of an, uh, a suggestion from her daughter, which said, you know, I'd, I'd like to have a quick snack in the afternoon that uh, doesn't have a lot of calories, something easy to prepare, but it's still healthy for me. And Zora said, why not a cup of soup? And maybe other people would be interested. People that don't always want to be drinking coffee or tea in the afternoon, maybe they'd like to have something that's healthy but still hot and gives them a bit of a boost. So there's a line of soups that are prepackaged like this. This one specifically is the mushroom beef soup. And I won't be trying that one out today. I have tried a few of these out already, even before I decided to make the video. And, but we'll, be, we'll try that in another time. So what else? Well, this may be one of the cornerstone products that Zora has to offer, and that is meat bars. Yeah, I know, it's different. And this is what replaces for Zora and her family, and for a lot of people who have tried them, has replaced the sweet energy bars that a lot of us carry with us. So this is not jerky, but it's, you might call it a jerky-based product, because what's in it is meat, and I will read some of the ingredients on this one, with vegetables mixed in with it, and then dried out to a nice consistency, providing you a good tasty, and I can say tasty, for at least for the ones that I've had so far, energy bar. They're not very big, but they do pack a good amount of energy. So let me just read you the contents of this one. So this is the apple pork with parsley, rosemary, sage, and thyme. It, what, again, when it doesn't have in it, no soya, no gluten, no nuts, no milk, no garlic, no onions, and no nightshade, excuse me. So I, will open, I won't open this up today, but again, I'll open it up at another time, and we'll talk more about these energy bars. Zora also has prepackaged fruits snacks, real fruit snacks. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'm not going to open this one again today. I'll open it up for another time. I opened up one of the packages, and I looked inside, and I, it's not a, what I expected at all. It's literally like things like slices of orange, bananas, all types of things. Well, this one is made with... Uh, a lot of what's in this one. Let's see what I can say what's in. Organic mangoes, organic banana, organic pineapples. Literally sliced, peel and all, dried just the way it is. No sugar added, just dried the way it is. So when you're eating it, you're eating the peel and everything. I was not used to that, but it turns out I quite like it. It's an interesting snack. There's a bit more work to chewing it, but you know, it, it adds a lot more energy and a lot more flavor. So that's a nice addition. And the last thing that Zora, I didn't know, even know she had these, but they showed up when the package arrived in the mail, instant tea. And I think I mentioned in another video, I didn't even know instant tea existed. Well, I had a lot of viewers tell me about, there's a good so, number of uh, sources for instant tea. And Zora has an instant tea. This one is a chai, but again, made with organic products. So that's the range of products that Zora has to offer through her company, Wild Zora. So what I'm gonna do now is take the meal, get some water onto a boil, we'll put it together based on the instructions, we'll rehydrate it, and I'll do a taste test. I haven't tried this before, so it'll be a first for me as well. Okay, my water has come to a boil, and just before I prepare the meal, I just want to show you the setup that I'm using today, so I can remove this windscreen. I'm using my Firebox Nano, and I've cleared a spot down to bare earth here. And the reason I'm using this rather than have a fire is because Nova Scotia is under a full burn ban, and that's subsequent to the state of emergency that's been declared here. So while I can go back into the woods, I wasn't sure I could for a while, while I can go back into the woods, I can't have a fire of any kind. But fortunately, we are allowed to use gas or alcohol stoves, so that's why I'm using this. And it works out very well anyway. Now I'm gonna save a little alcohol but taking that off and putting my stove out so I can save a little bit of my fuel 
for coffee afterwards. So what I'm going to prepare it in today is my Stanley Adventure Set insulated bowl. I know this is a heavy thing to be carrying around, but I've, I've got very little on my backpack today. And it's a great way of being able to show you the contents and allow it to stay warm enough to, to rehydrate. In today's weather, I could just have easily left it inside of the bag and it uh, would have rehy rehydrated just well in there. Had it been really cold, I could have put the two of them inside of this lunch bag, which I often do during the winter. All right, so I, like I said, that doesn't want to go out. All right, so now, now that my water is hot and my stove is out, I will show you what the meal looks like. So uh, the directions are, again, to open the package up. Didn't leave myself much of a lip to grab a hold of. Open my package up. Oh yeah, there's the oxygen absorber right on top. I'll put that aside. Close the package again. Give it a good shake upside down to bring all the spices mixing through. What I'll do is I'll put them in the bowl and show them to you in there. Does look good. Whoop. All right, dropped a piece on the ground. Can't have anything going to waste. Get the pine needles back out. So hopefully you're able to see what I see inside of here, which is the chicken, the broccoli, the carrots, and all the spices and the other things that were included in this. It does look good. Yeah, there's a bit of a smell on there right now. All right, where is my bandana to hold the pot? So one and a half cups of water. All right. Give that a good stir. It's already starting to thicken up. Okay. Doesn't look like enough water, but uh, follow the instructions and see how it works. Put the cover on. That says 5 to 15 minutes. I'm going to leave it at least 10 minutes to give it some time to fully rehydrate it. It's a beautiful spring day, but it's not that warm. It's only running around 7 or 8 degrees Celsius. Beautiful, but still not really summer weather yet, or even spring weather yet. Okay, I'll give that some time, and when I feel it's fully re rehydrated, I'll bring it back and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, just before we do the taste test, I wanted to talk about something else Zora had mentioned to me and I had failed to mention already. And that is, if you're to look at these on their website, and you go to the back where all the nutritional information is, and of course I am going to put the links in the show notes below to where you can purchase these and find out more about them. But when you go to it, you're going to look at this and say, this is, unlike a lot of the other dehydrated or freeze-dried meals, is a single serving package. A lot of the other ones will claim to be two serving packages with about 700 calories, maybe more, maybe less, depending on what the meal is. And uh, I know a lot of people wonder, do I really want to eat that much food? At the end of a long day, yeah, maybe you do. In the middle of the day, probably not. But at the end of a long day, 700 calories isn't all that much. Uh, this is considered a single serving package and it only has 350 calories in it. Now I say only because that seems to be about half of what the average is for the larger packages. However, it's a different type of calories and that's the best way to explain it. When you have 41 grams of protein in a single serving and all your carbohydrates come from things like the carrots and the, and the broccoli and the sweet potato and the onions, you don't have a lot of starches in there that are going to provide you that energy that gives you the peak and then goes down. I guess what I'm trying to say is it may have fewer calories but it will carry you further because it's going to take longer for you to digest and process the calories in this and you'll get a, a more complete energy, a more stable energy over a longer period of time. All right, wind's picking up here. Hopefully it's not too loud on the microphone. Let's do a taste test on the meal. So, according to Zora's instructions, I do have my spice kit with me in case I need it. My bandana across my knee, as I can be messy from time to time. Now, I did this, open this up at the 10-minute mark, and I found that it wasn't fully rehydrated. 
Uh, it is now. There was still some water in it, but there certainly isn't now. All right, uh, even before I taste this, I'm going to bring it up to the camera so you can see what we're looking at. See if I can bring some of the chicken to the top. There were some bigger pieces. There's a piece there. Okay. I'm going to bring this up to the camera so that you can see what it is that I will be eating and tasting here. Yeah, there's still a little bit of water in there, but not too much. It's still plenty hot, so I could have left this longer if I wanted to even let it rehydrate a little bit more. Let's see what it tastes like now. Mm. Okay, it's still quite hot. Um, I did a lot of stirring, so a lot of the vegetables are broken up now. They're not quite the same bigger chunky pieces. Oh, there's a good piece of chicken. Mmm. Okay, that chicken was nice. <laughs> Very nice. There is a good, wholesome flavor to this food. But it's plain. That's probably the best way to say it. It's plain in the sense that it's, it's certainly not salty, but there's not a lot of other spices. Well, there's no spices added, so it's left to you to add your own spices. But the uh, texture is great on all the components. I am going to add some spice. So where's my little kit here? I'll do this without spilling. I have hot sauce. I have salt, which I'm going to add a little bit of. I have garlic, but I don't think I need the garlic today. And I have some of the spicy version of the Montreal Steak Spice, which I am going to add. A little bit of that. And a little bit of sea salt that I'm going to add. I know the ingredient said sea salt in it, but uh, not a lot. Very little, in fact. Well, already I can smell some of the spiciness being added to this. Now let's see what happens. That made a difference. Boy, you don't need much. That made a difference. Okay, this is the first one of the meals I've had from Wild Zora, and I can say, at least for this one, absolutely impressed. Very, very impressed. It is a good tasting meal. You can actually taste the quality of the ingredients. I don't know how to explain that, but it, th there is a texture that goes along with it that just speaks good quality. Everything's well rehydrated now. There's still a little bit of water in the bottom of the pond, and I just didn't need it. I only used a cup and a half. I probably could have got away with a little less. But yeah, good quality, good taste. You may not need to add anything like I did. I just wanted a little bit more spice to it. Well, I didn't have any spice at all. I just wanted to add a little spice to it, but... Otherwise, I am certainly impressed with this meal. Okay, I think I've rambled enough about this meal from Wild Zora. What I will do is finish this meal off, and we'll wrap the video up. Okay, so a few closing thoughts on the savory chicken from Wild Zora. Uh, when I opened the package up and I could see all the vegetables, they were nice size, and the picture would certainly depict what I saw inside of the package. When I added the water and stirred it up and then opened it to check it, stirred it some more, what I found is that the vegetables were starting to break down a little bit in uh, size. So it's not that they were going to mush, it's just that they were breaking down. So by the time I came to eat the meal, a lot of the vegetables, the broccoli was especially, was broken down quite small. Now that's not a, a, a comment against the meal at all because it had nothing to do with the flavor or the texture once it was rehydrated, not at all. In fact, everything else I'd say about the meal was top notch. Like I said, it has a healthy taste, if, if I can describe that. There is nothing about it that suggests chemicals were added. And that's probably one of the most important things about this. As I mentioned, these are extremely healthy meals and that's the way they were intended and that's the market they're going after from Wild Zora. So especially the paleo market and the autoimmune protocol or, or AIP market. But anybody, anybody who's looking to get the highest grade foods to take on the trail that are lightweight 
easy to prepare and very shelf stable as they say this is something worth looking at so overall this meal really did satisfy me I'm actually much more full than I thought it would be considering it was only considered a one serving size uh, I feel quite full I ate the whole thing but uh, just barely to be quite honest it's a uh, yeah it's more of a meal than you would think just from reading the the outside of the package as I mentioned, I'm going to put all the information on the Wild Zora products in the show notes below. And as I also mentioned, as I go forward in, into the spring and the summer and I do more hikes, I'll be focusing or doing more reviews on some of the other products that Zora did send me. I would ask if you have any questions about these products, you can put them in the comments section below. And of course, you'll always be able to go to Wild Zora directly and find out any of the information you need to find out. But in the meantime, Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.